Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick and simple tutorial on how you can register a .sol domain name. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, for starters, if you have a Solana wallet, then when you're sending and receiving tokens, instead of having to send someone this ridiculous string of letters and numbers, you can just send them your domain name. So CryptoCove.Sol is a lot easier to send tokens to than 3T7ZMZG whatever. And another reason why you might want to have a .sol domain name is that it's possible having one of these could be a requirement or a multiplier, a boost for airdrops. And a perfect example of this is on Twitter. I noticed that this token that is doing airdrops said that for round two, they have a multiplier for people that have registered a .sol domain name. And this may not be the only such case. So when you are ready to register a domain, you're going to need two things. First, a Solana wallet. And second, you're going to need to have $20. If you don't feel like spending $20 on a .sol domain name, that's fine. It's not absolutely necessary. It's more of a vanity thing, but it does have some utility and it could come with some extra benefits as well. So once you're ready, you go to sns.id, which is the Solana naming service and connect your wallet. I'm using Phantom. Once you have connected your wallet, you need to search for the name that you want. Now, a lot of names will be already taken. For example, if you search for something that's super common, I guarantee you that someone has already registered it. Basically, all of the most common names will already be registered. Although when you do search for a name, they do offer you an alternative if the domain you're searching for is already taken. And by the way, you can even register one character .sol names, but they are more expensive. The price goes down as the domain has more characters. So you can see that five plus characters cost $20, but anything with fewer characters than that is progressively more expensive. And your domain name doesn't just have to be letters like a name, it can actually be numbers as well. And short three digit number domain names are actually considered to be very valuable. So for example, 123.sol was already registered a while ago, but you can buy it as an NFT if you want for 4,000 sol. And that is another interesting aspect of the Solana naming service and these NFT domains is that they're not only just utility to link to your wallet and to make it easier to interact with different applications, but you can also sell them if you manage to register a valuable one. So for example, on Solana NFT marketplaces, you can look at all of the different domain names that are available for sale. And if you want to buy one that has already been registered, you can do that here. And you can actually buy a domain for less than the $20 that it would cost you to register. Although in this case, you have less control over what you're actually getting. Anyways, back to the Solana naming service page. Once you do find a domain that is unregistered or available, you can simply click add to cart and this is gonna cost me 20 USDC to register. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add to cart. And the final point I should say is that these never actually expire. So once you register a domain, it will be yours forever unless you decide to sell it. Now there are some positives and negatives with that format of domain names. So for example, if someone registers valuable domains and then loses the key to the wallet or gets hacked or for some reason loses access to them, then those domains are lost for Forever since they never expire. On the other hand, as a user, if you find a domain that you really like and you register it for $20, it's a one-time cost and you don't have to keep coming back and paying to re-register it. So once you are ready to check out, hit on the checkout button and it will prompt you to choose what token you want to pay with. It doesn't have to be in USDC. You can actually pay with $20 of other tokens. And I believe if you pay with the FIDA token, which is the token of the Solana naming service app, you get a 5% discount. But I have some USDC in my wallet, so I'm just going to select USDC and hit continue. Now you can also add a Binance chain address if you want to use your Solana domain on other chains through wormhole, but I'm gonna skip that for now. The final step is to hit complete purchase and it will pop up in your wallet and ask you to confirm the transaction. And there's also a very small fee in Solana as well as the $20 USDC fee, but I'll hit confirm and the transaction was complete. So now in my dashboard for the Solana naming service app, I can see the collection of domains that I have. So I have this one that I just purchased. And if I hit view, I can see the details of it. Here I can choose to sell it or list it if I want to. And this is an important final step. If I want to make it so that people can send tokens to my Solana wallet using this domain name, I need to copy my wallet address in Phantom. So that's what I just did here. And then go into the records section of the domain and then set my Solana wallet here by clicking on the edit button 
and pasting in my wallet address because this will change the destination of funds being sent to this domain. So now if people send SOL tokens or other tokens to CryptoCove.Sol, they will automatically show up in my wallet. So I'm gonna hit update here and I have to sign a transaction in my Phantom wallet confirming this. And the cool thing is up in the top right hand corner, now you can see that it's also changed my username on the platform from the random string of letters and numbers to CryptoCove.Sol, which is super cool. And now when you go connect your wallet to other applications as well, that is how your wallet address or your username will appear. So hopefully you found this little tutorial helpful. If you do register a .sol domain name, it has that utility and also could come with extra benefits as well, like I said, with potential airdrops.